Hey there, everybody. Guess what? It's done. I filled the whole thing. It's not 100% glorious, but it's 100% filled. And I'm gonna do a walk through it with you right now. You ready? All right, so the covers, I'm still really happy with kind of a, a play on the, the composition notebook, right? And then just some regular packing tape on top to protect that. All right, I'm gonna go through the whole thing, starting with the beginning. So there's the twig sprite and his overlay with just some words that I felt applied to him, like, you know, he has good hearing and he's a helper, he's solitary in his own territory, sends messages to others of his kind, maybe by bird, insect, I don't know. There was that one, and then the sketch really like how the pencil sketch came out. Let me move things up a little bit because I want you to see these tags down here. This one tore, so I reinforced it with a bit of uh, um, paper tape. And here's a little more about him. Answered the 10 questions that I gave to my class. Um, answered. Those for myself for this creature, and then another sketch watercolor paper. Did a colored pencil sketch, colored watercolor pencil sketch, something like that. A little bit clear gesso, and then some more on top just to play with the levels. And as you can see, it changed a little bit from that one. The head looks a little less like a walnut and a little more like a creature. So working on that, and then possibility of another portrait leg, you know, later on down the line, how that might work out. And uh, he's holding a feather. I'm not sure why. There was a reason. All right, the inky cap sprite. I'm still really not happy with that blue, but didn't want to spend a whole, any more time on it than I already did. A little nest that she leaves around. And her call outs. I couldn't really think of anything more on her. So, a little more development yet to do on that one. Her notes. Um, and then the idea I had, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, here we go. So, maybe you know, in uh, another piece that I do later on down the line, so maybe the little nest will be empty. And maybe there's little what look like could be footprints leading away. So maybe those are her babies. Maybe there's someone else's babies. I don't know. Alright, and the hackle sprite. I think I'm happiest with this guy's development on how it's come along. Um, and I, I like this spread too. It's just it's just enough, but not too much. Um, although that bit, yeah, I could have done without, but that's okay. Happy with it otherwise. Um and then I wrote, you know, Hackle or Hatchel Sprite uses long fingers to comb through the debris at creeks. So there's another one. I did a short of this one over on YouTube. Um, I'm not super happy with this version of it, but I'm not unhappy with it necessarily. Um, here's his call out to the long fingers. And that kind of thing. His notes. And did I have? I did. Maybe more of a rocky creek. Although with those fingers maybe sandy. Though maybe in between rocks, you know, those long fingers would help him pluck out nifty things. And then the foot spread. This was kind of early on in the making of or filling of this book, where I was skipping other every other page. Just did a page on different feet in colored pencils and eyes and graphite, regular graphite. And then added a little bit to this guy, as you see, just the lower body, left the, the bits of torn paper that were glued to it just for fun, kind of like the, the boxes and overlapping this was happening on elements of that page. And there's the blue moodies in all of the different poses. And then the Moody Spread, which I need, I need to develop these words more. So if you can think of anything more that describes Moody to you, 
rather than silent, shadowy, near old trees or houses, sometimes helpful, and the eyes glow. Need something else, need some more, right? There's his, and I've kind of been working on that one already. Another, just a random spread. I like the hackle sprite here. Um, it doesn't have the long fingers or the nest. I like the grasses, uh, hairy grasses, <laughs> I guess. Um, and I thought this maybe this could be a young hackle sprite. Maybe that, you know, they build that nest on their back as they age. Maybe the fingers, the longer fingers come in later. I don't know. And this spread, yeah, yeah, it's just kind of a meh. I like some of these faces that came in, but decided just to let it be as it was. And there's the young hackle sprite. And the possum tail came in here. I like, for some reason, I like that possum tail. I mean, another spread that I'm kind of lukewarm about. I like my little fairy mouse. And this face is really heavily inspired by one of Iris Compiet's designs. This was something I saw on Pinterest. It was like a, um, oh, I'm blanking on the seed. It's one of the covers. Uh, that can make a fun creature thing. And just some other sketches on the evening. And now the Bower Sprite. Yeah, he was fun. Didn't, he didn't come along very far, I didn't feel. I kind of like this. Here's the feather again. And um, the idea of him liking blue things. So the blue jay feather and a blue button that he's found. And maybe he was really good friends with the blue jays. And uh, yeah, so the story I like. I think I like the story. You know, if you feel you have a bower sprite around your house, you can leave him gifts, little blue things that he could collect, you know, so a little friendly guy, there's no, didn't do a layout for him, this one was kind of a, a layout portrait enough, I felt, and then this one, I really like this, I think it has some good possibilities, though they are rather underdeveloped at this point, and there's a portrait, I like the addition of the little owl on the branch, I think that's fun. There's kind of a very rough layout. Again, trying to get the proportions right, where it looks the right height, and not, you know, weirdly tall. Eight feet, not 108 feet. And just an evening of random faces. Kind of like this, I like that chin. And this starts the last section, so random creatures, where it was a week to go, two weeks to go, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, whatever comes to mind, I'm gonna draw it based on different animals I've seen. Um, I like my dandelion sprite, that was fun. These are like little rootlings, and a couple of just scribble faces. Um, you know, it felt really stiff and rough in here, but then as I moved on, kind of got into it. Um, this one is inspired by the um, Amanda Spade maker faces, you know, the really wide set eyes and the human looking teeth. And this was something I thought I found, I went back to find again on Pinterest, couldn't I find them? They're like little bitty, tiny um, mandrake kind of sprout whatever, and I just, I thought they were fun. So I had to draw some of those, and then these were just random little that same shape kind of character um, and then this one I love and I didn't do it again although I thought about it where it's a, um, a carnivorous plant and this guy lives inside it so he's got to be slimy yeah I started thinking about him he's kind of slimy and anyway I may, may do more with that later and then this one inspired by a tarsier and there was an image of one that I saw where it just kind of had that look. I'm like, oh, oh, I have to do that. And then started adding, you know, added a beard. And his mustache, instead of being under his nose, is up on top. Um, and then some earrings, just some random stuff. That was kind of fun. I just, I like that look. Uh, here we've got a toad. And this is a witch's hat bagworm. I've never 
come across those before. I thought that was really cool. And so you see a little worm still in there and he hangs out with his little toad with, toad's got leaves, leaves coming out of its back. I'm not sure why. That was just kind of fun. This one, this was inspired by an insect I saw. It's at the back of the insect's uh, thorax. It looked like a face to me. So I turned it into some kind of insect-based sprite and the wings kind of became its its robes, you know? And uh, yeah, really like that. I thought it was fun. And then a couple, this was, I forgot what, what animal this is with the long finger, an eye eye, I think. I kind of put them in some clothing and then this was an insect. The head is inspired by an insect. And I thought that one was kind of fun. I like the looseness of it. What else have we got? Oh yes, the eyeball moss from Labyrinth. I'm actually gonna make a couple pots of that for inside the house for this Halloween. And then mushroom caterpillar and armadillo guy and just started working in uh, just water soluble graphite uh, because I find that really quick to develop in. And kind of for, forego the cover. The color decided to cut corners, right? In the last week or so, and I'm like, okay, how much time I need to get it done? Really wanted to fill this. Um, a little more color here. This one, it ended up looking like a, a cupy mandrake, right? If you cross those two. Um, so I had fun, spent a lot more time on that color. This one started out as a tree, saw a face, and then was just like, yeah, that one's not going anywhere. We're just going to leave it. We're going to leave it unfinished, and it's okay. And then these two, um, stargazer fish and a telescope fish. Um, did a short on this one over on YouTube, and yeah, I'm like, where did this come from? Oh my gosh, the back of my subconscious dug that one up. And um, yeah, I really like her. The comment I got was that the big ears made it look friendlier. And yeah, I kind of agree with that. So, you know, this one kind of hangs out in ponds and kind of stagnant bodies of water and rummages around, has, you know, kind of prehensile feet. And then these two were fun. So I started sketching a condor, you know, a California condor, and then it became this face. I retained the forehead wrinkles because I really love those. Gave him a great big eye and a great big nose. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Gave him some pierced ears. Why not? Um, and this one started as a northern bald ibis. And if you know what that looked like, then you know I, I severely deviated from it. Um, started to give it almost a, a rooster comb here and then a really wicked long beak and then left it, you know, fairly simple stylized body, but yeah, that was fun. And then last spread, Moody Woods here, just a nice light sketch. I thought I would end with a couple of things that I already know. Let me visit some old places and this I've done a sketch of this the reference had a deer right here and one of you got the card for this it's on an envelope I think I can't remember Lisa was it you somebody got this one with that that original image um, where I, I did with the deer and so I left the deer out and added a couple of moodies here and just did this simply in watercolor graphite and then today this is Thursday as I'm recording this I decided hey let's revisit Fiji and make a little Fiji on the wall watching you so yeah that one definitely I will I want to revisit that one for sure and uh, do it a little more detailed later but that, that is it my friends I finished the book it will be turned in to the back of it just for friends. I will be turning that in on Saturday in all of its messy collage and glory. And I am super happy with this. I hope you like it too. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment, let me know. I'm definitely, as soon as I'm done with this, well, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to be starting on the next sketchbook project, which I think what I'm going to do, well, I will tell you about that later. I'll leave this off for now and I will see you guys later. Thanks for following along.